our next special guest, the one and only John Vanderslice. Best show, 24 hour version. Amazing. I met Pat Byrne tonight. Historic. I get to follow Nick from Islands. John Daly's here. John's here. John Worcester's here. Tom, I love you. I'm going to play some songs. It's called Kookaburra. Oh, we're we good? Cool. Lightning shot from the sky Breathe life into every Every living thing It made you, it made me It gave us the kookaburra It gave us Ranger Pantry From dusk to dawn And dawn to dusk The sky will fail With vaporized dust Raining white on white Like streamers of dirty confetti On white Chrysler Tower had disappeared White on white The Capitol Dome was invisible On white The hoisted flag had disappeared Clouds are tightening in the sky tonight. We can't be safe. Electricity will scribble out your name. Lightning shot from the sky Gives it takes away from Every living thing It made you, it made me It gave us the terabyte, it gave us Dusk to dawn and dawn to dusk The sky will fail with vaporized dust Raining white on white Like streamers of dirty confetti on white The looming spire had disappeared White on white, the Bundestag was invisible. On white, the hoisted flag had disappeared. White phosphorine, and blackout bombs are falling out the sky. Tonight We can't be saved Electricity is crossing out your family name Light 
lightning shot from the sky It gave us the kookaburra It gave us friendship and truth Kookaburra, it's a whole, it's a whole journey. How is everyone tonight? I, I, I'm, ha I'm happy. First off, it's warm in the studio, but I want to say I prefer this temperature. I've heard some complaints I find deeply upsetting. I was born in the swamps of Florida, <laughs> and this is, this. First off, don't fight the heat. You know what I mean? Don't you 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 want your body to be stressed out. You, you don't want to run AC all the time. That's terrible for you. So just be hot. First off, we're we're in a death spiral. It's obvious, right? So if this is difficult for you, like what what is five years for you going to be like? That's going to be real trouble. I'm going to play a song. This is dedicated to Maria Brand, right over there. After it ends Pack the cord, I'd wrap the cords right Clean the cupboards, bit air After it ends Strike the click lights, cut the phone lines Kick out the fire door, oh But leave the banner, leave the banner, leave the banner there Leave the banner, leave the banner, leave the banner there Silence, all we left behind in California After it ends I'm so hungry, like I was just born I'm still aching for life Pale as 
corpse is newly risen Knives are drawn, now let them see Standing tall, they say they're free We are strong in simple words Set to wound his sharpened swords Wide as targets, let them be With their shade to cover me Rise like lions after a slumber And in greatly unknowable numbers Free the blood that must ensue Thank you very much, Pale Horse, from the record Cellar Door. I'm going to play a song called Letter to the East Coast. And this uh, song is about Joan Crawford, and I wrote this pre-Criterion, but maybe I could get a, a hookup, right? Right, a placement? <laughs> so I could get at least a password to Criterion streaming, right? Do you have one? I, 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 Marie and I, we buy a lot of passwords off the dark, dark web. There, <clears throat> I just want to, like, remind you the cost of digital media. If you buy, let's say, a Hulu Plus subscription, or an HBO Max, or, or actually, the dark web is too stupid for like movie or Criterion. <laughs> like, they don't have, like, they don't have smart stuff. But passwords are ninety nine cents on the dark web. So that's that's where we've fallen. In the old days, they were like eight ninety nine for like a guaranteed password. Actually, you can get multiples for ninety nine cents. So I'll just buy one. Being Joan Crawford at twenty one was easy. Living in New Haven in 1925 was simple and kind Like you and me at the start It's right and bright at the top But the rook's not to blame For those who didn't have an endgame New Haven 2010 Spare me that, my friend Being Joan Crawford At the end That was hard You and me at the start Simple and pure at the top But the rook's not to blame those who didn't have an end game I got Nick and John Daly in here. This is this is big. I'd like to um, say that the best show was incredibly, incredibly helpful to me. Uh, my mom died in 2017, and it was uh, right after Tom's uh, dad passed. And the best show, first off, when your mom dies, you lose your mind. I mean, if you're close to your mom, I was very, very close to my mom. And I went into like a crazy deep depression for years. and. 
I just can't tell you how important the best show was for me during those years, 2017 and 2018. Um, and I, you know, I have the box set. I could like put on like archival stuff, uh, and just like, I don't know, having some levity and joy and humor in my life at like an incredibly bleak time. And I know that people understand what I'm saying. I'm, I know that like best show has been like uniquely comforting to them in their life. But I, I, I just, I told this once to Tom in a club. It was loud, and I'm, would, I just wanted to say it like to everyone where it's clear. We were, <laughs> I saw Tom at the Troubadour, and it was like a really wild show, and I really wanted to, I haven't seen, I hadn't seen him in a while, and I really wanted to tell him how important it was. And I would, during the middle of this story, I was like, man, what an inappropriate place to tell this story. Like, ridiculous, but I'm gonna play one more song. Oh, I need to tune for, for this song. Is everyone in this room still doing well? Is this, am I entertaining everyone? Okay. Yeah. Is there a dumber sound than a guitar detuning? I mean, really, it's like completely stupid. <laughs> um, oh, I need to go up on this one. I'm gonna play a song called uh, Exposure. And it's it called Exposure because of the Robert Fripp record, Exposure. And I know that Tom and I have that experience in common, a deep obsession with King Crimson and Robert Fripp. I've seen Robert Fripp play six separate times. That's how obsessed I am with him. Okay, this will be my, uh, my last song. When you're nervous, you don't even know if you're speaking language that actually is like correct. You know what I mean? Like I'm not even sure if I'm putting together sentences that could be diagrammed out, you know, in a way that would make sense. To, like, okay, good. Wow, my guitar feels just unacceptably for I have a high tolerance for out of tune instruments and I, I have to create more stupidity by tuning this thing. Okay, we're so close. I think this is the culprit. We're good. Called into the party line Two bucks a minute, it was not my dime It's a confused kid on the other side Hello, it was me in 1989 Conjuring demons Waiting for the footfall To pin and cable to cable Surely we can conjure that demon we are able I once held that mystery in my hand Not since, how many chances do you think we get? Month to month and state to state Burn the sails and cut that acetate. Lowest I'll play for is 225. That's the minimum to keep the dream alive. Conjuring demons waiting in the shadows. I like you, but I don't like me, so it's Tough going as you can clearly see Hot to cold and cable to cable Surely we can conjure that demon we are able I live and breathe.
the one and only John Vanderslice is in the studio. How are you, John? I'm so happy to be here. That was such an amazing set. Uh, can you not hear? I can't hear, but I, it oh. feels like that I have I have enough engineering yeah. uh, wherewithal. If anyone We're can just figure talking. out how to do this, it's you. Yeah. But look, I've given up. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've completely yeah. given up. John, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. John. Thank you so much. No, this is such a thrill. And how are you? Oh, oh towards you. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm... Uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. Yeah. Incredibly happy to oh, be here. Oh, it's a total, yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, how have you been? You went on a pretty uh, a, a pretty extensive uh, European tour. Should, should I uh, squeak this chair a little bit more? A little more, you get a little more squeak in there. <laughs> Could I have some anti-squeaking? Yeah. Uh, I, went to, uh, I went to Europe for a month. And it was uh, it was magic. It was mostly France, and I was okay. opening up for Not a Surf, and they're very they're like unreasonably big in France. And I was in their bus, so it was mm-hmm. maybe the easiest tour that you could ever be on. Okay, because I'm you know playing forty minutes solo mm-hmm. and kind of traveling in their bus, and then I play forty minutes, and then I have the rest of the night off, and you're in. Lille or Paris or Nantes or Aix-en-Provence. It was madness. Yeah. So you're getting to just truly take advantage of these places. Whereas, uh, uh, you know, if you were uh, the headliner, you'd be just like, I'm stuck. Dead. You're sound checking at 5 p.m. It's Mm -hmm. like, you know, and you're, 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 you have, uh, you know, you have no agency, you know, hurry up and wait kind Mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. But you're just like, bye. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Uh huh. Do you speak French? Um, I speak zero f- uh, percent French. <laughs> do you do what I do in, in France? I'll go in a store or something or a restaurant and just go, hi, hey, hey, <laughs> and then see what happens. Mm-hmm. You just say, hey, hi. <laughs> yeah. Or I, I look so weird also that uh-huh. they, they, know they know that there's they something know. wrong they know. with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh-huh. no, I, um, even my experience with that would be going to like – like even like Montreal is like a city where it's like a coin flip. What if people are going to expect you to speak French or yeah. not? So when they when you go up to the counter and they go like uh, bonjour, and I just go hi, I'd hi. like to get a donut, please. <laughs> like just as if I'm in Monty Python, the way that when they do American <laughs> voice, we're like, hey, hey there, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't speak to my wife that way. <laughs> Now you what's you put a record out? I put a record out. Yeah, well you've this is, you've, you've been able to say that many times in your life, but there's a new record that you did you did some uh, some funding for, and you've been mailing yeah. them out. And yes, yeah. yes, and I mailed you some records. You that was did. Fun. I didn't get mine yet. Wait, you, you? I don't think I did. No, I I, I sent you a ma- huge package. You didn't you didn't get? It. I don't know if I did. I. Th- <gasps> Double check because I put in okay. so many extra records. Oh no! Like cr- like crazy. All everything's was oh, signed. Everything was different. I gotta find. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out, John. Like, we'll figure. this We out. have to. This. We'll yeah, this I, I would. I would die. Now you. But what is that record called again? It's called Death Bug. Death Bug, and the thought behind this was uh, many thoughts and no thoughts. Sure. <laughs> it's a, it's a highly, uh, uh for me, mm-hmm. experimental and kind of fragmented impressionistic weirdo record mm-hmm. made with two geniuses, Rob Shelton and Jamie Riotto in, we made it mm-hmm. in Oakland at Tiny Telephone, Oakland. And I'm just kind of on this journey where I'm making more and more abstract music because you, you know, if you're going to make a lot of records, you got to go some. You got to go somewhere. You know, you got yeah. to you got to follow the path somewhere, and so that's where I'm at now. Absolutely, because otherwise, people will just be like, "No, we got what he yeah. does. Yeah, we're, we're good. good. <laughs> I'm good." Because that's always what I thought with like, like as much as you could, those first four Ramones albums, it ultimately ends up being like, since they didn't, you know, they they dip their toe in changing, like end the century. And then they kind of dipped their, pulled their foot back out, more or less. And then it's just a matter of, well, I have the best versions of these, ultimately. And that was always my, the conundrum with that. But then I would also be, if somebody changed too much, I'd be like, this isn't what I thought it was. So there's like a matter of hitting that sweet spot oh, yeah. of, it's still you. Yeah. 
Like I was thinking of that Bad Religion album when they did that one record, Into the Unknown. Sounds like Todd Rundgren. <laughs> yeah, and then the fans <laughs> were so mad at it, they literally had to call their next record Back to the Known. <laughs> As if they're just like... That's very funny. <laughs> that's the that's like this... That's such a bummer. <laughs> what are we going to call this one? Well, we got to get these kids back again. And they did. And they They're got them all huge. back and yeah. more. They got more than ever. But this would be just like, <laughs> like I sent some kind of message that that was not how this one sounds. Back to the known, everybody. Should have called it hardcore punk. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it doesn't matter striking that sweet spot. And you really... Watching you with your the 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 Instagram lives you do, you there's so much fun, and I love how you do all the. You just get so much so much texture in there, and just the way you work with, with loops and stuff is so exciting. And the final thing, I was in the middle of a tech thing here, so I didn't get to hear the final thing. Did you do a frip thing? Yeah, I talked about Robert, well, I, I I played a song called Exposure from Death Bug. Oh yeah, and it's fun. called Exposure. You know why? It's because yeah. <clears throat> And I talked about my uh, our our kind of con- mm-hmm. deep connection to King Crimson and Robert Fripp, yeah. and that I said that I'd seen Robert Fripp play six times, which mm-hmm. is you know it's one of that's one of the most I've seen really anyone play. And, sure, and I saw him do Frippertronics mm-hmm. in DC live, which was crazy interesting. Just amazing. And he, he talked about how mm-hmm. the tape decks worked, and mm-hmm. it's a Revox A88, and mm-hmm. so I, I, yeah, I, I, I have a, a, a true lasting love for that guy. Absolutely, and one of the things that you do that remind me of him is when he shifted from King Crimson to the Frippertronic stuff, where yeah. he was saying he wanted to be a, a, a like a fast moving mobile unit, yeah, and not, and not have a big band. Is like there'll be a big band later, yeah, but right now I need to be able to move around fast, yeah. set up, do the thing and leave and that's yeah. where the the idea of the loops came to build yeah. huge scope yeah. from limited resources. Yes. And you definitely work in that spirit. Yes. So much of the time where when you're just solo and you're building these things I was like I see the lineage there of where that's the spirit of wh- wh- from whence you came. Yeah. I, absolutely. Did you um did you see the three drummer King Crimson? No, I would. I mean, I would go crazy. Oh my for god! Absolutely. I mean, I heard you talk god. about it on, on the best. It was show. one of the best things I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Amazing, they, right? The drummers are just up front. Three drummers up oh front. My god. He's off in the corner. You could barely see him. He's yeah. he's on the on the riser to the right behind a wall of. He'd prefer to be in the next town. Yeah, he would could, exactly. So. But converse. They, but they, they, to go counter to that. The videos he does with Toya, yeah, his wife, I know, totally different. Are the most ridiculous. Yep. Like suddenly, it took him seventy five years to have a, just a true sense of humor. Yeah, and it's so fun to see him actually have a good time with music and profound, be profoundly in love. I mean, you know, that's oh, really a sta- statement about love. You know? Absolutely. No, he's definitely enjoying the act of expression. Yeah. And and sharing it with yeah. other people because um, I watched the documentary, the King Crimson documentary, coming out later yeah. this year, I believe. And in that, he says something to the effect that like, "This is the only band I've had where nobody in it actively hates me. That's why I'm having fun being in King Crimson now." <laughs> like, it took him fifty <laughs> years to finally be in a band where he doesn't look at the next person and be like, "He hates me," <laughs> and. So good for him, but I think they might be. I think they might be done now. Really, like, that's what it seems. If you read the tea leaves, he's doing a solo spoken word tour later this year, and then he's going to do shows with Toya next year. But it seems like they might. They might have put a, a lid on it. Oh no! But I who? Kn- I don't know. I should have really pulled the. Yeah. Well, John. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> So are you you're are you home now for a while? I'm home. I want, Marie and I were going to my Maria Brand, my girlfriend. We're going to Mexico with fifteen of our friends. We're going to go to Mexico City, and then okay. we're going to go to Tlaxcalan, which is a a town just south of Mexico City, to mm-hmm. celebrate one of my best best friend uh, Cammy's birthday. So we're okay. going to be there for nine days, ten days, and then Amazing. we're going to come back. And then I'm here until okay the end of the year. Awesome. And when are you back? Um, I'll be back on the tenth of okay. August. Amazing. Well. I can't wait to get to spend some more time with it because you and I have both been on. It's it's a true. 
when you're free, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah. When I'm free, you're busy. But it's gonna it's gonna link up. We're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna turn do a the double corner. date. Absolutely. With Julia, it's gonna be Julia, yes. It's gonna be amazing. And John, that was such a beautiful set, and I can't thank you enough for coming down and playing. Thank with, you. Here, and it, you're just for a, me to be in a ro- room with Tom and John. I'm just the happiest person in the whole world. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. I'm gonna play some music. Love it. And then we will, um, we will ramp it up, and then get into the next hour because we are an hour. We're going into hour five, five. I think. Right. <laughs> 